you know, as I get older, I get more aches and pains and my muscles are as good as they used to be and I can't run as fast and as long and maybe, maybe anymore. I can't hit a ball as far as I could before. But there's one muscle that I feel I could grow more and more and the older I get, I could grow it even more. And that's your heart muscle, the love. You know, you could love harder for the rest of your life. There's no limit on how much you could do. Yeah, <laughs> that's one muscle that could keep on growing forever. <laughs> but how do you do that? You know, and, uh, and I think part of how to do that is to find something in life that you really want to do. Because if you're doing something you really want to do in life, you become more lovable as a human being. If you're doing something that you're miserable at and it's like going to jail every day or or it makes you anxious inside and all that kind of stuff, man, you can't be as lovable, you know, of, of a person and people can't love you as hard. Your friends, your family, your lovers or whatever, you know, they want somebody. It's easier to pour love into somebody who is, <laughs> you know, comfortable with it. A little puppy is easy to love. You know, the mean bulldog or something becomes harder to love sometimes because they're mean and miserable. Yeah. So that's it. So how do you find that in our society or whatever? And it's tough. You may have to do it part time and find something. You may not even know what it is. And you don't have to know what it is. You just have to know, I think, what it is not. And so you work, you test, you try, you fail, you, you be bad at stuff until you figure it out. It's like learning a new sport, learning a new, uh, learning to walk all over again. If you're going to learn a new thing, you can do it part time for years. I keep interviewing now young people and old people alike who all of a sudden have this idea that they want to do things. It takes them a couple of years to do it and they keep their day job while they're doing it. And then they build this until become. I just interviewed some teachers who retired after 22 years because they always want to make cosmetics and they figured it out online how to do all this stuff. This is the thing they love to do and now they made a little business. A bunch of teachers all quit at the same time and created a place to work where they could talk about anything anyway, anytime. They have no meetings. They did the life. They're building life that they want to live. We all can do that in our economy now and the internet and what's happening that's possible for all of us we can't pull the rug out one day and do it but it's something to work towards you know and so what if it takes you a year two years even if you're 60 or 70 man i'm 72 i feel like i got 20 30 more years so another year or two trying to figure something out eh, no big deal you just work at it you know look all the idiots that do something you know that you admire or whatever they not creative geniuses or whatever. They just struggle through until they figure it out. And man, that's when you could love harder. And then your work is even loving because you're giving more in your work. You're loving your customers or the people you're working for because you want to do that no matter what. It's not agony and you're just doing it for money. Sure, we all need money. But it, it, it's like at home. If people love you at home, that's nice to be. So why shouldn't you be loved at work? And then it'd be nice to be both places, right? <laughs> That'd be a great life. Well, do you ever feel screwed by the system? <laughs> well, here's your chance to screw it back. <laughs> and actually, you know, some of us get screwed more than others. And, you know, it's so complicated. And, Man, but it's something to figure out, you know. And actually, you know, screwing the system back is really not, you know, doing something malicious. It's really finding the cracks. It's finding the opportunities in the system or whatever. I mean, that's what the fat cats do with the, uh, the tax code, right? They go in and they dig that out and they find all these little, oh, hey, I could do that. That's not illegal. And all this kind of stuff. Oh, that's what I've been doing for like... You know, almost 40 years now is finding little opportunities like that for people to take advantage of the system that is there for everybody if you figure them out. Now, I've been doing research for ah, like 40 years now. I mean, I had the first information brokerage company really back in the 70s down here on K Street. You know, and I started with me, a phone on the desk and a group of about 30 people. And all we did was help fat cats find these little opportunities you know, that are available in the system for people to take advantage of. You know. And after helping rich people for about five, six years, you know, I grew to about 30 some people, you know, and bigger than I ever thought I would be. And I said, man, that wasn't fun. Now I see that rich people will find 
somebody and pay them thousands of dollars to find these little opportunities. Now what I devote my life to is finding these little opportunities for the average person out there. Man, there's opportunities for everybody, not only the rich fat cats, yep. <laughs> and so what I spend my life doing <laughs> is researching these little opportunities, putting them in books and now on the website, whatever. And I do a bunch of these almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, what I put together is a collection of like my top 45 of them or something like that, 43. I think there are of the best ones I found in the last couple of years, you know, just about two years, you know, of research because I, I do research every day trying to find little things that people may not know about, you know, because all the good stuff is not advertised. And that's the problem with Google. You're going to find stuff. If you Google any kind of help in this country, you're going to get people who are going to sell you stuff and they're advertising. They want people to know the real good stuff doesn't advertise. And that's what I'm trying to show people all that real good stuff out there. That's not advertised. <laughs> so you know about it and can live a life better and take the advantage of it, whether it's money or free services or all these kinds of things that are out there. That is usually by nonprofit organizations, governments or websites that are doing something or the new economy that's going on now. You know, these are opportunities that people don't know about. So I collected a lot, about 50 of these for people to do and put it in a video ebook <laughs> for people to have it in one place. Now, let me go through some of these. So like, you know, there's now an app to find free food in your area. <coughs> so many with, with urban gardening and, and people growing f food and vegetables, we have so much food that's available for free. And now it's being put on an app for people of any age or income can take advantage of. Wow, that's right. Or how about for pet lovers? There's now a place for almost 800,000 pet lovers to make up to $39,000 a year just because you like animals. You don't have to move, you don't have to go somewhere, whatever. <laughs> just right in your home. I mean, it's a wonderful effort. And actually, there's a great uh, travel thing, too, that you could travel to other countries and, and stay for free because somebody's out of town and you take care of their pets. So you want to go to, you know, Florida? <laughs> well, somebody has a house, but they need somebody to take care of their pets. <laughs> and you go down there and live in Florida for the winter, <laughs> for free. Or, or how about, you know, uh, Portugal, <laughs> something like that, or, or uh, anywhere in the Virgin Islands. Yeah. That's a terrific advantage of, oh, here, I found an app that gets you to shovel your snow for free. You get your sh snow shovel for free. We had a terrible winter here <laughs> in Washington, D.C. You know, we had f two feet of snow. What about the people who can't do that? Well, there's an app will do that, and I tell you all about that. Or how about tech support? You know these scams on the internet? You know, oh, something's wrong with your computer. Call now or whatever. That's somebody just ripping you off. <laughs> so that video will show you how to get rid of that and, and get that kind of help for free. Uh, and also I have another video that shows you how to get free expertise on anything. You don't have to pay for expertise in this country anymore. You know, it is so free. That's why <laughs> consultants have trouble, <laughs> you know, maybe making money, <laughs> but that's fine because expertise is, I mean, I talked to millions, of, not millions, but dozens or hundreds or even thousands of people who found the expertise they need for free, start a business with it, solve problems or whatever. That's what this is. So I have a special video on that. Uh, or how to stop paying tuition, I mean, college application fees. College applications now cost about 100 bucks a pop or 50 to 100 bucks, man. So you're applying to 10 colleges, that's a lot of money. And there's ways around that too. Uh, or here, I have an interview of a, an IRS expert who shows, shows you how to write off your living expenses on your taxes. See, again, you don't need an expert. I show you how to do that in that video. Now, that's a great video. Uh, or how about this? There are uh, government officials that will collect bad checks that are given to you. Somebody writes you a bad check. What are you going to do? Chase them around the world or something like that? No, the government will find you yeah, and get your money. Yeah, because now that's more powerful than any lawyer you could do or whatever. These are the same people that brought your desert storm. will go after that bad check for you. Yeah. Uh, now, here's another item I, I cover, and these are all videos. They're short little videos, <laughs> a collection of them in, in the video we book. One that, how, <clears throat> if you have a small business, as long as you have customers, you can get a loan. You know, like small businesses, you can't get a loan bank. It's even hard to get an SBA loan and things. But as long as you have customers, man, this is a platform. That means it's a website where people come, they want to loan money to good businesses, and they have different criteria now. See, everybody in the banking business <coughs> is, is following the same rules for the last, you know, 50 years. 
the world has changed. It doesn't matter if you don't have a banking credit or what kind of credit. As long as you have good customers, man, you get the money. How about free cars for Christmas? That's right. That's a nonprofit organization that does that. Or how about grants for down payment on a home? That's another video. Grants, down payment, closing costs. You know, you got to keep up on this stuff, particularly if you want a home nowadays. Okay. Also, the law lets you pay off your student debt, you know, if the college lied to you. Wow. How do you know that? Wow. Oh, that's a great thing to know. So I show you all about that. Are grants for high school kids to take college courses while they're in high school. A Pell Grant for high school. You don't have to wait till you graduate to go to college. If you want to take a course at a local college, because a lot of students do this now, high school students, man, that costs a lot of money. They don't have it. Well, now you could use Pell Grant money for that. Uh, actually, here's the new economy is creating few jobs, but millions of income opportunity. See, that's the thing. So you have these big corporations or whatever that are, are now worth bazillion dollars, but they're not creating jobs because it's all a website. But that website is creating millions of jobs. That's why you have to learn this. That's why you have to know about these things to be able to take advantage of where the growth is. You know, uh, like Airbnb. You know, that's the uh, you know hotel rooms around the uh, the world. You know, they're as big as Hyatt Hotel, but they only have like 2,000 employees. Hyatt Hotel is 150,000 employees, but. Airbnb has a million people making money from it, right? <laughs> the only 2,000 employees, but you and I, anybody can make money from it. Okay. Uh, PayPal offers small business loans with no credit check. Now, isn't that cool? Or how about <laughs> you can borrow internet from the library. Take it home free. Get a little box of the library. Some like the public libraries have this. <laughs> so Comcast charging you, you know, a hundred bucks a month or whatever. No, go to the library, give you a little box for free. Yeah, that's it. Or here, the, the library will actually do your uh, set up things for you on the internet. You got to set a business on the internet. You don't know how to use Facebook or one-on-one -on -one consulting for free. I got a video on that. Uh, okay, how do you use the internet to pay for legal bills? That's right. You get money to pay legal bills on the internet. I'll tell you about that platform or whatever. Uh, and it, it, here's a, a great video too. It said, don't <laughs> buy a franchise, create one. Everybody's making money in the franchise industry are those people who put up a franchise and say, hey, I want to make, I want a franchise information business. Okay. So then you get them to show them how to get government money <laughs> to get a franchise, give it to you. They go out of business and you get the money. People make zillions that way. Yeah. Uh, or how about the government collects money for you and you get like LifeLock, you know, they have identity theft. Okay, well, they were lying to customers and now uh, the FTC is getting $12 million for people like you. So I want to know about that. How to make money in real estate without having real estate, right? That's a video there too. The smartest way to get a graduate degree for only $5,000. This is a disaster in our country. People paying $50,000 a year or whatever to go to college. You know, being in debt, hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever. Man, no other country in the world happens that way. You go to uh, college in Europe, you know, for thousand dollars. You could be a U.S. citizen. Go over there, thousand bucks, get a degree from a wonderful country. <laughs> a university. It's better than most of them here. You know, but we don't think that way. That's what they're trying to do is shake you up a little bit and think about this other thing. Okay, here, here, I, I show you a website here. One stop small business entrepreneurs to get money and free services. One, one website, you put in your zip code, all the offices there that are getting grants right in your area to help you, to, you know, with your business or, or get a 50% raise and no college education on a job. So <coughs> you want training or whatever. So you can get a raise with a certain kind of skills. Skills You don't need a college degree. I was reading data the other day, 50% of the people who have college degrees are in jobs that don't even need them. So it may not be for you. And here's a way to get a 50% raise without a college degree. Uh, how to use crowds on the internet to pay for dental work. That's right. Dental work. That's expensive. Not even covered in Obamacare. We're barely covered. How are you going to pay for that if you don't have money? Right. Well, here's a way to, to do that. Okay, or don't get screwed by student loans. People are ripping you off with student loans. People who are consolidating student loans are ripping you off. It's all government stuff. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in here. And don't trust a, gan <coughs> a grant salesman. <coughs> Anybody selling you about grants, I want to explain to you or teach you. Now, if you really want to know about grants, there's free seminars on that. Your congressman and senator will help you there. And I'll show you uh, how to get that. 
Or how about free money to live on while you start your business? That's right, free money to live on while you start your business. This is a government program. Nobody knows about it. There are not going to be signs of it. You Google something like that, you'll never find it. Believe me, <laughs> I've tried to share. How about free bikes and helmets and Wi-Fi in your city? Cities are, are realizing, you know, bicycles or Wi-Fi and things are becoming important for people to grow in a city. So a lot of cities are doing that for free. Find out about that. Uh, here, or, or, or the government still can't give out all their money. Now, I'll show you how the $12 million, right in my state alone, for people who want to go to college, nobody applied for it. Stupid, silly. Yeah. So that, these are the kind of things I want to show you. Uh, the government sued your mortgage company and given you the money. Right. Mortgage companies have been ripping people off for years now, right? So now when the government gets the money, then they want you to give you some of that back. Uncle Sam will pay your travel the world by telling people these are wonderful travel opportunities free by the government. And, and they're looking for people to represent America all over the, the world just to do, you know, easy kind of stuff. Uh, the law gives an extra $900 to pay your mortgage. That's right. That's a new law now. Extra, extra 900 bucks to pay your mortgage. Or $1,000. Uh, you could get $1,000 from bill collectors. They're calling you, want your money. They screw up, call you wrong time. They make a wrong statement or whatever. You know the rules and how to enforce them. You get a thousand bucks from them instead of them getting the money from you. Take investment court by the world's greatest experts. We go to these financial counselors or whatever and all these uh, courses that pay hundreds of thousand dollars. There's guys with Nobel prizes in economics. You could take them for free. These are MOOCs, these courses that you could take from famous universities now free. You just have to know that they're there. Uh, how about free internet access to homes and laptops up to 150? So there's programs now uh, with free internet access uh, and discounts on it. So make sure, and actually there's a new one I'm going to be talking to you about soon too. Uh, learn where to get your help for your debt problems, right? Don't go to credit repair people or whatever. No, there's special help. Government gives grants to people to help you that for free. So make sure you check with them first. A uh, discount on your phone service, you know, your, your cell phone or whatever. You have trouble paying that. That could be a $50 bill easy for all that kind of stuff. Well, make sure if you're lower income, there's money for that. Or how about $60,000 to pay your student debt? They got, you, you, there's some government jobs now. They'll give you that $60,000. You you apply for that job. You get the job. You get an extra $60,000 to pay your student debt. Or, or how about this? Get $40,000 in disaster relief money when you have no disaster. See, that's the problem. We don't even know to ask for the thing. This is why I quite, where the question mark suits. You know, uh, there, there's so much stuff. The answers are easy. You Google them and you get a million or dazillion or answers. But it's asking the right question. You know, you can make from zero to ninety thousand dollars and get thirty thousand dollars to pay your mortgage or five thousand dollars to pay your rent that's a new program i tell you about that 15 minute meeting and a one paragraph letter to get thirty thousand dollar grant for your bed business 15 minutes a one paragraph letter i i interview the person who does this <laughs> has gotten it for himself uh, so watch that how to make a thousand dollars a month on real estate business without owning real estate. This is what's happening in the, uh, the internet economy and everything. You're in the real estate business and you don't even have to own any real estate. You know. Or $10,000 a month in free advertising. That's right. $10,000 a month in free advertising on the web. You know, so you want to advertise on the web or whatever. Well, now there's $10,000 of free advertising money, and it's, but it's for nonprofits. So you have a nonprofit, you have a church, community group or whatever. Man, I mean, that's incredible. That's somebody giving you 120 grand a year. Man. That's a wonderful. Well, here's a, a four year degree, college degree for only $10,000 from a major university. And, and here's one I think that's the most important uh, educational opportunity in the world now that you could get a degree from a very prestigious university that's giving out degrees in IT and business for free by wonderful, talented professors. It's all accredited and everything. Man, what we pay for in education in this country is just ridiculous. You know? and, and particularly, it's going to change. It's changing now slowly. So you got to learn these options. And that's what I try to do is show you options in life. So you all you see is what your neighbor did or what's the headline is or what's the first three things on your Google searches. No, the life is the life is more 
it's bigger, more opportunities than that. And we make stupid decisions because we don't know all our opportunities and our options. So that's what I do is trying to show you these options in life that you could take advantage of, you know, that are there for anybody. It takes some effort. It takes some research. But you have one idiot like me doing all the research. I love doing this stuff. <laughs> and that's why I want to share it with as many people as possible. Okay, the internet has become real important in our lives, right? I mean, all the job applications, the information, uh, health problems can be solved. I mean, so much. If you don't have the internet, man, I think you're screwed in today's life, you know? Uh, and that's why there's more and more programs popping up for you to get the internet. Like now, you could borrow the internet from your public library. Depending on where you live, this seems to be a new program that's popping up. Like New York public libraries have it where you can take it for a year. Right? So you, oh, you, go, you go to the public library, sign up, all you need is a card. They have no income requirements at all. You know? <laughs> and you get like a hotspot that you take home and somebody else is paying for your internet that you have at home. Man, you don't have to go to the library to use it. You use it at home. Yeah. <laughs> As I mean, St. Paul has this too in their library system. You know, see, the library is becoming hip. Uh, we did an interview with the local public library and too that you can come into the library, you know, it is a public library, man, and they'll sit down with you and help you set up your business online. <laughs> you don't have to hire an expert, you know, these kinds of things. Man, it, it, it's so important. I mean, and, and kids, like, I think 50% of low-income children have no internet access at home. How the hell are you going to do anything in life now anymore? You know, the information and the help and everything, the opportunities are here. You know, and if you don't have that, man, I think you're behind the eight ball and you can't take advantage of things. You know, uh, and forever, even older people aren't used to it. Man, you got to start getting used to it. You're going to live for another 10, 20 years. <laughs> and all the help that you got to know about, yeah, whether it's medical help or money help or anything, kind of thing, it's available here on the internet. And so that's why there's many organizations now uh, giving this out for next to nothing or nothing or whatever the people really need it because you're, you're out of the system. Man, if we spend so much money educating kids and they don't have internet, pfft, you know, that's silly. And the same, you know, if low income people don't have income, uh, internet to get out of their low income status, <laughs> that's the only way you're going to get out of that status anymore. You have to have it. And there's another organization, uh, Connect. Oh, what the heck it is it? Uh, uh, connect. Oh, uh, <laughs> connect to compete org. That's the name of the organization. And, and they're a group of cable providers that are uh, really managed by the government who provide their internet services for free or, or, or next to nothing. So you could check out that too. And we, we did an interview on them on the past about them, uh, a video link uh, on YouTube, we have that. So it, it's all this stuff that's out there and they look at the local library. I mean, I, I've talked, I've, I've been giving speeches to libraries where even have 3D computers you could use. Man, you the inventor spaces, you go there and you're a inventor and they get all this free help for you at your local public library. Remember them? <laughs> the public library thought they would disappear. No, they're becoming more important because they're the ones that know how to use these tools, you know, <laughs> and, and, and you can get help and you can always get them on the phone, man. I, I, I just text the public library people at, at uh, uh, New York, New York City Public Library, eight and a half million people, you know, <laughs> and they like two, three million people, no internet access at home. So that's why it's so important, you know, to get this internet access. I mean, I, I think it should be free for everybody. It should be like the roads. We have the roads to get to where we have to do and, and do things that are publicly funded. Well, now, man, it, it should be the internet. It's becoming more important, I think, than the roads in our society. And there's some cities are going that way. I mean, um, uh, what is it? Some of them in Tennessee, I know, that they have internet access probably for everybody. I mean, Korea, South Korea, it's almost next to nothing and everybody gets it over there. They're, they're the ones that are going to compete in the world. Uh, I use it all the time to make money and, and to do all the things I want. Uh, and, and we're all going to live more and more that way. If you're not now, it's coming <laughs> to a laptop near you soon. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, now here's an article I ran into today in the Sunday paper. Actually, I read the paper. <laughs> I'm an old guy. <laughs> but it really shows, uh, to me, it, it epitomizes what's going on in the uh, country today. I mean, it talks about a, a young woman, 25 years old. Now listen, what she makes a living at is cleaning toilets. That's right, she has a degree, a college degree, and she's cleaning toilets. But more importantly, you know, what, <laughs> how she's getting herself out of that problem. I mean, she has like $35,000 in student debt yet. Uh, she has her own little house apparently, and has a $100,000 mortgage on that. Uh, she has a Ford Escort, 1999 Ford Escort that recently broke, and it, she had to get a $5,000 loan to fix the car. I thought, I'm sure the car's not even worth that much. So you see, she's, you know, has a bad job, going nowhere, but she found hope on the internet. Now she's a, trying to be a designer, design little stickies and stuff like this. And so she, she, she does this other job to keep you know, her soul together, pay bills and stuff like that. But now she went on the internet and went on Kickstarter. You know, that's a crowdfunding site. That's one of the crowdfunding sites. And she was just trying to get like two, three hundred dollars or whatever it was to help her start her little design business. You know? and she got her two, three hundred dollars, like in you know, less than a day. And by the time the campaign was over, she got like almost three thousand dollars. So that's three thousand dollars out of nowhere, out of the air that came to her because she wanted to do something in life. Okay, and she said she got the idea from cleaning toilets. I mean, it doesn't take a mental genius, you know, to do this. She said it's sort of like busy work, but while she's doing it, her mind is going on other things. And it's about this thing she really wants to have a career at, at designing. So she was able to do that. And now from doing that five days a week cleaning toilet, toilets, <laughs> she's down to just one day a week. See, and, and that's what epitomizes to me what's going on in the internet, that you can now have that tool. You don't have to go out and get this non-traditional thing. So if you're not thinking about these new ideas, they'll never occur to you. You'll go to the same old thing, trying to get a better job, spending money on education or whatever that you may or may not need and all this kind of stuff that goes on because that's what the current system does. And all your friends and the media and say, that's what you need to get ahead in life. But there's other ways to do it, you know, and that's what's important. And what's important about these other ways, man, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> and and she really sees her life turning around, yeah, whatever. So wonderful story. And here, so how are you going to do something like this? Don't know about uh, crowdfunding? Well, I mean, that's what I'm trying to do is educate people about these things. But there's three main websites for crowdfunding and actually there's about a thousand of them. So if you really want to get into it all. But there are three, Kickstarter, Indiegogo and GoFundMe are the three biggest. And you could just choose one, try it, fail. What the hell? You know, <laughs> just get out there and, and that's the only way you're going to learn. You know, I mean, do the bad stuff first. You got to learn anything you're going to do new is is it's going to take a learning process. So go out there and learn it. And now there's other ways too besides crowdfunding do that. There now there's other websites that get you business. See, you could have like your own little consulting business, yeah, <laughs> or whatever. If you like designing, if you like, you know, uh, uh, writing code or coloring or anything you think to do, or even consulting or whatever. Now here's 12 websites. It's in one of our eBooks. I, I cannibalized from one of our video eBooks uh, that you could just put on, it costs you nothing. They handle uh, the money so you don't have to worry about people screwing you over and not getting paid and things like this. You can work when you want it, what price you want it, you control everything. It's not like delivering pizza where you have to be there every night the guy wants you. You're only available when you want. So let me run through them quickly for you. TaskRabbit, GigWalk, Handy.com, Care.com, Upwork.com, Guru.com, Freelancer.com, Fiverr.com, Big Box, SEO Clerks, MTurk.com. That's actually part of Amazon. <laughs> and NeedTo.com. Yeah, and there's dozens more. So that's why I start exploring this. I mean, you have to start 
educating yourself up in all this. You, you're not going to do one thing you know, and make a zillion dollars by next Tuesday. But if you don't get out there and start learning, failing, try something again. <laughs> do the bad stuff. Get in there and try it. Don't believe the other experts telling you something. You know, try the free stuff first. That's all the kinds of things that are all, <laughs> and they're all out there waiting for you. That's where the country is going, I think. Now I'm biased, so don't even trust me. <laughs> Experts don't know what they're doing. But if you get out and try it, you'll know for sure. I was just reading some data the other day about graduates getting out of college now and looking for jobs. Actually, something like up to 50% of them now are in jobs that don't even require a degree. You know, and, and I've seen other data like people, the millennials, people in their 20s or whatever, are making like 25 or 20 percent less, you know, at that age than when I was that age. And that's in the current dollars. So the young people are not making as much money, you know, in this you know, world of ours as 30, 40 years ago. And it's been shrinking. Sure, the older people, somebody's getting rich here because we're growing the economy, but it's not the young. So now here's an interview. I did with this young lady who, who really had like an art degree, you know, where are you going to get a job like that making decent money? She couldn't find a job, you know, and she always liked clothes. I mean, I'm a bit of a clothes horse myself, so I could relate to this. Yeah. And so she's just tinkering around, you know, designing her own kind of stuff. And then she put it on the internet and everything. And now, you know, in a short period of time, in a year or so, She's got a full-time gig, working at her home, she's hiring her buddies, and ever making custom clothes for people on the internet. This, I believe, was never possible before. If you had an idea like that to do something, boy, you had to go and find some big clothing manufacturer and hope to get a job with them, and you'd be making some buttonhole, you know, for 20 years or something like that, because they're making millions of things, yeah. And they just need people to, you know, go put together the, and the wheels on the car or whatever, like in a factory. And there's no satisfaction in that. You know, and here she is being able to show her creativity to pour the, her insides out and then put them out to people and have unique things for people that people can't get anywhere else. And that's the joy uh, of our markets today. There's millions of markets. You know, there's not, you know, one big market of a million, pro uh, one product sold a million times. There's a million people selling small amounts of products because you don't have to sell a million items. See, if you were trying to sell your idea to a big company, they have to sell 10 million items or whatever because that's how they stay in business. They keep the big monster fed. Uh, but you don't. But before, you didn't have a way to find 100 people or 1,000 people or whatever who just was interested in the unique things that you do. But now you do have a way. And that's the internet. And that's what's so cool about it. <laughs> so, so you can do it yourself. So watch how she did it. Going from knocking on doors, getting nowhere, trying to get a job, to going in her bedroom and getting her sewing machine out. Now she has a whole career that she created herself. So watch. Well, Kelly Iden of I'm Your Present.com. And what you do is make the best presents in the world for people. And they're all handmade. Man, I mean, you just have a wonderful story, Kelly. And uh, how 10 years ago you, you graduated from Rhode Island School of Design and you had, oh, you wanted to make clothes for people, right? And you couldn't get a job you liked, right? So you just created your own. I mean, that's fantastic. You've been doing this like seven, eight years now. And, uh, it only took you like a year and a half to become self-sufficient and support yourself and thank God you're not in some, you know, <laughs> jail somewhere doing art for somebody else and now you're pouring your heart out doing this stuff, aren't you? Exactly. I love it. Uh, <laughs> but also the creations you make. I mean, it, it, they're just beautiful. They're elegant. They're sexy. They're cute. They're... All these things that, you know, and of course they're one of a kind and you're not going to see yourself walking down the street, are you? 
It's true. <laughs> that's right. I think you're the part of the new wave that's happening. I mean, before doing this, I mean, you would probably graduate from design school and try to get a job at some big manufacturer and make some scarves for uh, Yves Saint Laurent or somebody like that and one scarf that millions of people bought, right? And now, you know, millions of people, you don't need millions of people when you have your own little business. You need a couple hundred, right? A couple thousand. That's enough. <laughs> and so people are getting unique stuff. And so it's not the same thing. So you have millions of markets now instead of uh, a market of millions, you know. <laughs> yeah, being able to use the internet and have customers across the world. For everything. And you actually got where you're distributing and retail outlets now, right? Yeah. Wow. And so, uh, and your main website, I'm your present. And you mentioned earlier before we went, tell people, why did you come up with that name? I'm your present? Oh, well, when I was younger, my mom had a catering business called It's Your Party. <laughs> I think somewhere in the back of my head, but I, <laughs> yeah, I always love that name. So. Just like mom. And what is it that you feel that you could share with us like, God, that you, it took you know, a long time to learn and you wish you knew it you know, six years ago or whatever. You know, that it, what were some of the things that, man, it was hard to get through your skull you know, to do and to make, be successful at this? Um, I think a lot of it is perseverance right. because you can get discouraged at times, especially online. It's always up and down. I have really busy seasons and then dry spells. Those can be discouraging. <laughs> oh, we all need that positive feedback when that doesn't come in, particularly if you're alone. See, I feel if you work in an office, you could blame everybody else for something, you know? <laughs> but when it's you, you can only blame you. So when things aren't roses, it's easy, I guess, to beat up on yourself, huh? It's true, and to take things personally. Yeah. Well, it is. It, it, but, you know, I, people say don't take it personally, but it is. This is your life. This is your heart. You're pouring out. So, yeah, I, 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 uh, yeah, I, I don't think that's bad to take it personally because it, it is very personal for you. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. There are times, though, that you just have difficult customers. Oh. There are always difficult people in the world, and you just don't let that get to It me. wouldn't be any fun. You'd have nothing to do if there wasn't. <laughs> and it is more fun having someone work with me now because at least we can make fun of those people together <laughs> and be like, it's really not us. <laughs> and I guess that's why a lot of people, when they start their business, they go in these co-working spaces, you know, to have other people around them because you probably, it wasn't as popular seven years ago, these co-working places, and like me, you know, I, uh, I work alone and, and right sometimes it gets a little frustrating particularly when there's not positive feedback coming in It's fun if th people are throwing you money, then you don't need help <laughs> But those down times so I guess that's right. It's really be prepared for not You know, it's not you know, roses all the time and and that's why I think it like what you're doing is finding something That's really important for you to do so you have that motivation even in the down times but no, I mean, that's what we have. It's, that's why I think, you know, choosing something to do like you, this is something that's in your blood. You want to do it. You want to make clothes for people that when the bad times come, you have the reserve to keep going. You know, if you were here just for the money and there wasn't money, you say, screw it, I'm going to do something else. Right. And, and, but you're here for something more. And so when the bad times come, then you'll figure it out and work harder to get through that because you want to do this and you don't want to go to some jail job. <laughs> That's why I think it's important that our heart is smarter than our brain. If we follow our heart more, that will get us through all the bad shit that happens in life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and at the end of the day, I, I love and I really believe it's in everything that I make. So. Wow. I'd be making it anyway. See? Now, what, what could be better than that? And you figured out a way to get paid for it. You going to make men's clothing? Um, I make a few pieces, mostly <laughs> for my boyfriend. <laughs> what kind of stuff do you make for him? Uh, just like hoodies and stuff. Oh, 
hooded sweatshirt. Oh, really? Hoodies. Well, that's big. I mean, somebody I interviewed, somebody made like a million dollars on Kickstarter with a, a hoodie forever or something like that. You know? I think I saw that. <laughs> you send it back. Anytime there's a rip, they fix it for life. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, that's right. My son makes his clothes. You know, he's sort of a um, a hippie type, you know, and he's farming, but he's an IT guy too, so he makes amps and all kind of stuff. But, uh, no, I, I always sewed. I taught both my sons to sew and cook and everything. We grew up in the garment business in Wilkes-Barre, and so I worked in factory sewing. And my wife said, never sewed for me, never iron, never do all my own stuff. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to do it my way. <laughs> no, it's a great skill to have. And that's what's so neat about our country now. We, we get artists like you contributing, you know, that's unique stuff instead of going into the mall and buying something at Walmart that 10 billion people have, you know. And, and you're able to give what's special about you and the rest of us are able to appreciate it. Otherwise, we would have never found you if it wasn't for the internet. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. A lot of my customers like to dress in their own style with unique products. Yeah. Hey, so that's the fun. Yeah, no, it, it's, that's why I found up making my own because I couldn't. And men's are even terrible or worse. You know. And color, that's what I can't find either. Every suit is black. And. and um, uh, I was in New York yesterday. Everybody dresses in black. And going to the big stores, everything black and gray. And that's not happy. That's not fun. And all your stuff is whimsical too. I mean, it's fun. I mean, it looks like this this dress you have on now must be that. I mean, the jewelry on your neck is that, right? I mean, yeah. it's just having fun when I dress. Yeah, why not? That's what I mean. So delighted and happy when I have And then people see that and they smile too. I mean, that's the greatest thing when I walk around my question mark suit. It's not, it's people looking at me. I, I, I get that vibe back from everybody. And boy, don't get that at home anymore. You know? <laughs> so it's like, so you're bringing joy to everybody out there. So we have to go to I'm your present. I am Y O U R P R E S E N T dot com. And that's why we find all your neat stuff and we can buy your neat clothes and go down the street and have people laugh and smile at us and make them feel warm and fuzzy and that makes you feel good too, right? Indeed. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. Keep in there. Talk to you later. I was reading the other day about a woman who got uh, money to buy a house this way in a program where you only make, uh, you have to make about $40,000 a year. And what happens is that they'll give you mortgage money every month so that your mortgage payment is not more than like 30 or 40 percent of your income. So if, you know, you're making $3,000 a, a month, you know, that means it can't be more than like a thousand dollars or so, you know, for your mortgage. But if your mortgage is two thousand dollars, then the government pays the difference. Wow. It's called a voucher program. And I was reading about it. She, she would get it in Prince William County in the Washington, D.C. area, but it's all over. If, if you go and you Google HUD voucher program, so that's HUD voucher program, and you'll see a listing described home ownership vouchers and a describe the program. Also, you get a list of where locally that program is available. So it's available most places and you probably have to get on the list for something like this. But even if why not get on the list? So it takes a year or two, whatever, man, you're going to be living longer than that. And you get a deal like that. Plus, there's also down payment money and things like that. So if you're lower income and it's for people who have jobs. Now, unless you have a disability, then families with disabilities don't have to have jobs. But people have to have at least a full time job. And in the Washington area, it's, it's forty thousand dollars. But uh, other areas will be different uh, and they pay the difference in your mortgage if it's more than 30 or 40 percent of your total income so you don't have to worry about your mortgage going up and they pay it for like 20 years you know it all depends on your what your mortgage is that pay it almost forever so it's a wonderful program HUD home ownership voucher program real program but you gotta know about it take advantage of it
Okay, now here's a woman in upstate Washington somewhere. <laughs> you know, three kids, you know, uh, you know, the family was tight with money and things like this. They're a small growing family and not a lot of resources. And, you know, her options were really trying to find a part-time job somewhere to help contribute to the family or whatever. And, but she learned something. She taught herself how to make jewelry. She never found the jewelry that she really liked and was tinking around and then went on the internet somewhere and thought, wow, I can make this stuff. And, it, and now she's making creative jewelry just by herself, putting it on a website on Etsy and eBay and those kind of places. And now making up about $40,000, you know, just after a year or two of doing this. Man, where else can you do that? She has more control of her life. She's at home with her kids. She, she doesn't want to work. She doesn't have to and, and, and controls her life more than anything else that an employer would do. I mean, that's it. When you're raising families now and, and, and the kids need you or whatever, and we go off in the morning at seven o'clock and sit in a lousy, you know, <laughs> parking lot on the expressway trying to get to work for an hour, waste two hours commuting or whatever, and people at work that, you know, don't care about your family. I mean, they pretend to, but they <laughs> really don't, not like you. And, and also, she, she, what I find is that working at home, you know, on, on whatever little project that's making money for you like this, and $40,000 is not just a little project, you know, uh, yeah, you're there even if the kids, uh, you're not playing with them or whatever. I mean, just your presence in the house, it, it, it means so much, I think, to children. And then you instinctively know what they're doing because you're there in the same, you know, <laughs> house knowing that you're not 10 miles away working somewhere else. And so if there is a problem, they could come in for a minute or two and, and you could, you know, discuss that and solve the problem where you hear what's going on, you stop. Or what I love to do was, was uh, walk up to the corner to pick up the kids at three o'clock you know? and that was a wonderful 20 minute break you know to walk them back home and sit them down the kitchen table for milk and cookies and then go and continue working man you know I, I guess that's what we used to live like you know on the farm when everybody was in agricultural business all the families were together you know so now i think that we could have families together more <laughs> we're all working at home on these gigs kind of thing or setting up our own businesses and see it's so much easier now you don't have to have the complication of figure out accounting and credit cards and getting paid by customers and all this kind of stuff because that's all handled by <laughs> the platforms that you're on. So watch this. Well, Marilyn Moore of Phelon.com. And <laughs> I didn't know how to spell this, so I'm gonna spell it for you. F-A-Y-E-L-O-N.com. And God, you're a mom with three kids, you know, sitting up in upstate Washington somewhere and making money on the internet because you could be at home, you know, you'd share people with your wonderful handmade jewelry. Yeah, and after three years, man, you, you were doing like fifteen, forty thousand dollars a year just just on these websites that cost nothing to get on <laughs> and sell your stuff to people all over the world, man. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel wonderful. It's it's great. It's been such a really great opportunity. What what do you th what do you think you would be doing otherwise? Um, I have really no idea. I would probably either just be running my husband's office full time and we wouldn't be getting ahead or I probably would be out working a part time job, which the well, around with the people is nice. But when you have children, it's it's really yeah. a, a privilege right. to be at home. So it gives you a way to make this extra money for you guys to get ahead. Uh, you're at home with the kids, right? Yes. And you have young children, so that's very important. And when they, like, you were so flexible, you were able to stop the business for a while and just start again. You know, when the kids got too much, stop and start, yeah. stop and start. Yeah. And a boss, a cranky old boss, wouldn't let you do that, would they? No, no, no time off with the boss. <laughs> you wouldn't have your job again. <laughs> well, tell me, what got you interested in making jewelry? Well, I've been... I've loved design since I've known probably when I was little and I 
I've always loved beads and shiny things. And wow. so when I was a teenager, they had jewelry, you know, but I, not my style. My style is a little more edgy and kind of punk. So I would take jewelry that I bought and take it apart with tools and modify it and put it back wow. together the way I liked. And so just in some magazine article or something, I ran across a, an ad for Fire Mountain Gems which sells jewelry supplies, and I didn't know. I was like, oh, there's tools for this? Oh, this is an actual thing? <laughs> and that's how I found out make wow. jewelry yourself. So, so you didn't go to jewelry making school or something No, like I that? did not. I'm all self-taught, and many people look at my designs and are like, wow. No, okay. no they're beautiful. I'm, I'm looking at your Amazon store, and there's about 50 items there. I could see right in the front page. And wow, I mean, they, they look like stuff I'll, I'll see with Neiman Marcus or something. I mean, it's just oh, beautiful thank stuff. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> no, and so this is all from your heart, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, and you make each piece individually for people. And that's why you can't get that in Neiman Marcus. You're, you're going to see 500, 5, 5 million other people with the same piece of jewelry with you. Man! You get it. <laughs> right. you, get it. you get your one of a kind. Just for you and I, wow. that's why working with custom orders with um, customers is nice because they can kind of get their vision right. to life too. All right. Wow. So in other words, people could uh, go to Phelan, F-A-Y-E-L-O-N dot com and, and say, hey, I'd like something with a little this, a little that, whatever. And you fix up a price and then you agree on it. Then you make it. Send it to them. Huh? Yeah, that's correct. Yep. Wow. Isn't that neat? You can't do that at a jewelry store, can you? No, you cannot. <laughs> right. That's what's so neat. I, I think it, it's, you know, we had mass market in this country. Now we have masses of markets. You know, little markets of, ma there, there's millions of little markets <laughs> for everything. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised how many different, they are. yeah, just for anything you can think of. Yeah, and the internet does all that. So you really start on Etsy about, you know, five years ago. Yeah. Then you went to eBay, right? Yes. And then you went to Amazon, and then you have another place too. You're, you're also on freewebstore.org, and, and so you could have 50 products on that thing for nothing? For free, yep. It's completely free up to the 50 products. Wow. Well, that's a great place to start something. And so that you get your own URL, like you go to GoDaddy or something, get a, you know, uh, you have your Phelan, and yeah. then you have it directed to your uh, free web store. Is that how it works? Yeah, I just yep, have the redirect to the... And that's it. So you could take that anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. That's a day don't, you don't need to be at home. Yeah. Right. Right. So if you visit people back in Wisconsin where you're originally from, you could just still stay in business, can't you? Yes, you could. You could take a vacation and stay right. in business if you wanted. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, that's the jobs of the future, man. Having your own, I mean, you're working like heck because you love it. So it's doing hard work that you love. And I think hard work is, is fun. Easy work is boring. Uh, and, but more importantly, I think what it seems to me that you're pouring, you know, your love for the world out in all these pieces of jewelry that you probably couldn't do in a normal job. No, that's the thing. There's so much creativity I can show, and it is it is so much love. I, I love doing it, and I love when people write me back telling me how right. you know wonderful it was. That and really... And most of us go to work in, in traditional jobs, and we're lucky if we get a Christmas card at the end of the year, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't encourage us to pour our heart out, does it? No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and what could be better in the world than pouring your heart out right oh yes every there we need so much more love <laughs> right <laughs> and just like in our personal life man it's fun to love real hard not to love a little <laughs> <laughs> and so now in our professional life we got ways to do it and what you've proved really you could even do it part-time while you're 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 te keeping your day job and do this on the side. Tell yeah, me. you can do it on the side. You can keep yourself as busy as you want to. Yeah, yeah. Instead of watching the ball games on the weekend, you could be pleasing customers with the love. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, wonderful. Nice to meet you, Marilyn, and uh, wonderful that you're there and show the rest of us how we could expand our heart and you know spread joy with the stuff we love doing. And the website is uh, Phelion, F-A-Y-E-L-O-N dot com, right? 
Yes, Phelan duck. Phelan. See, I still screwed it up. Man, can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. Take care. Thank you, too, very much. Take care.